Wrapping up our conversation with uh, uh, Dikang Mosoneke and uh, his new memoir that has just come out now. So it's uh, going to be a bestseller, I can already tell. It's called My Own Liberator and uh, it really has gotten South Africans riveted already to grab themselves a copy and read more about your life. I, I want to ask you one final question before we have a look at some tweets that are coming in. How did you feel being overlooked as the Chief Justice? Not once, not twice, but three times. I mean, there wasn't anybody more qualified for that position. How did it feel for you? Well, Ian, I'll be less than candid if I didn't say that it would have been wonderful, of course, to be Chief Justice. It's not my prerogative. It's a prerogative of the President. And once he had made up his mind that it will not be me, that was fine with me. Um, did it hurt? I'm sure it did. Um, did it push me back? No. I think I wrote some of the best jurisprudence and judgments from then onwards because I understood, as I've always said, my duty is not to the political elite. My duty is to the people of this country, all of them, in their full diversity. So titles could not have mattered more than the job at hand. So I made sure that I became as good a judge as I could be. Yeah. It would have been silly to walk away because I had not been appointed. And in fact, maybe I made much, much more contribution. After that little setback, and being a boy who knows something about setbacks yeah. and how to overcome them. Well, that's one thing we do know about you. And I think a lot of your colleagues have always said this about you, is you are not a bitter man. Um, and that's, that's, that's something that throughout your life, whatever you've carried in, all the misfortunes that you may have been through and the hard times, you've, you've never carried it with you. And that's, it's so admirable. It really is. I want to just read a couple of comments and tweets and questions from our <laughs> viewers out there. Let's put them up on screen so that uh, you, can, you can have a look and see some of the questions that South Africans are asking. Um, and one of the questions, which is quite an interesting one coming in, is what do you think of the current South African uh, situation that we find ourselves in now. I'm not, I'm not saying it properly, I'm remembering it <laughs> offhand because we can't put it up on screen at the moment. There we go, there it is. What is your opinion on the state of affairs in South Africa? Don't we deserve better? That's from Mzamo. In the final chapter of the book, I asked the question, was it all in vain? Obviously, hearkening back to the sacrifices of the many about which I've written. The book is about me, yes, but it's also about our struggle, its origins. It's about uh, all the many people who have sacrifices from all the liberation formations and who were outside any formations. There are many great South Africans who have made contributions, and I try and write about them. So it was inevitable to ask the question, was it all in vain? Which comes back to the point that is being asked. And I'm sure it will be asked many times when I appear in... Uh, book launches, as I say, the one in Attridgeville yes. on Saturday in my hometown. Yes. So in the community hall, I'm saying when we are given public power by the people and judges too get that power from the constitution, the public protector is also given power from the law and the constitution, so to the president, so to the cabinet, so to parliament. All of us, or the NPA, who sit there, are given the authority for the one purpose only. That is to advance public good. Yeah. The pie is not given for self-aggrandizement. It's not given for patronage. It's not given for self-enrichment. It's not given for sloppy administration. It's given in order to better the lives of citizens and those who find themselves within the borders of our country. And that is plain from common sense, and it's plain from our constitution, and it's plain from the values of our long, long struggle. So power and public power is important and worthy of respect only to the extent that it actually betters the lives of people and achieves what the Constitution calls um, each one of us 
reaching full potential. So if that does not happen, the people are entitled to ask the question. Yeah. And they're entitled to say, what was the struggle about? And so if you go to the book, you'll see I wrestle with that question quite a bit. Good. And for me, principles are important. So at any one time, we should ask the question, have those who have power acted in a way that would advance the interests of the people? Because that is really ultimately what matters. Mm. And remembering that it is the people ultimately who are the judges in the end. They make the call ultimately whether their leaders are serving them as they should. Indeed. Well, uh, we have to thank you for your time. We have to thank you what you've, for what you've done for South Africa. And, and it's not over. Uh, besides writing your memoirs, I'm sure you're a very busy man as well, uh, doing everything and uh, having <laughs> a, a piece of South Africa that they want from you. But I'm going to have to wrap it there for this morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on the program. And good luck. Good luck with the book sales. I don't think you need it because I think it's going to fly off the shelves. I certainly do. My Own Liberator, uh, it's the memoir of Dikhang Mosaneke. Uh, it's in bookstores around the country. I'm sure you can download it as well. Uh, look at these tweets as we go into a break here on the program. And uh, I'll say goodbye to you, SABC2 viewers. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you for your comments as well.